Hi there. In this video, we're going to add a secondary motor to our previous single motor Raspberry Pi project. If you want to see that video, it's in the links in the description. So currently, we're standing with this um, setup here. We have a single motor. We have our uh, motor stepper here, and we have a Raspberry Pi. It's all hooked up. It's all been programmed. Now, as you know, on the back side here, so we we program the motor to come out of this left side. But on this right side here. We have not, there's no, nothing coming out. And so that's where we're actually going to add the secondary DC motor. We're going to do this pretty simply. So the parts that you'll need will be the following. Three, three more um, male to female connectors. And you'll need two wires um, for the motor. So both stripped on either side. The last thing is the actual motor you also need. We're, if you look at the tutorial, they connect to pins. Uh, for the second motor, they connect to pins 11, 9, and 10. Oh, sorry, the GPI, GPIO 11, 9, and 10. So that's pin 23, 21, and 19. We're going to change that up a little bit, and we're going to connect to different, uh, different ones. So if you look at our... We're gonna look at and connect to I think we're gonna connect to pins of uh, 15, 13, 11. So GPIO 17, GPIO 27, and GPIO 22. If you look at pin nine, it's a ground, not a GPIO, which is a big difference. So it won't work if you connect to pin nine. You need the GPIO. Okay. So the first step in doing this, we're gonna start by connecting our motors. So I'm actually gonna cut two more new wires. Zoom out a little bit here. So I'm gonna cut two more new wires, simply because I've kind of frailed the other two. So now I have my two new wires. I'm going to grab my wire cutters and strip both sides of the wire. Now, one thing important to do is leave one side longer than the other side. And the reason for doing this is because the motor, you're going to fold one side over. Gonna twist the ends of them, sorry, so that they strip the other side now. So now we're gonna insert them into the board. So the position we're looking at, the position that we're gonna go with is. Uh, the third position in. So first position will be uh, the po the power input. The second position will be a GPIO, and then the third. So that I guess if if that's pin 16 will be the power, pin 15 will be the GPIO, and pin 14 will be the motor. And now for us, actually, that would be on row uh, 15. So a little confusing, but. Just zoom in. So we're inserting uh, pin one, pin two, pin three. So right next to this, these yellow wires. It's a little hard with all the wires. This is why the first step was to in our in our first motor was to. Uh, do this because so that we didn't have to do this with all the wires in. Shoot. Okay, I actually gotta unplug my Raspberry Pi. So I'm just unplugging my Raspberry Pi. Kind of caused it to. It's 
so that's inserted. I'm gonna somehow feed this wire in a terrible way, but and I'm not gonna weigh it down to actually lock it right onto the motor. <laughs> just zoom back out. Lock it right down right onto the motor. I'm just gonna fold it right over. So cord one done. So now looking back over at our design, so now we have well it's power and then it's gonna be GPIO there. And then fifteen here is the motor, and then we have two power negative power, so that'd be ground. And then we're also gonna have the on the far side of that will be the um will be the, where we put the motor uh the black cord for the motor. So grab our black one and we're gonna have to st strip that one. Make one making one side longer than the other. Kind of, kind of damaged the cord a little bit. I don't know how to get that in focus. Oh well. Point is, I, I kind of took a couple frills off. I don't have the thickest cord, but oh well. And uh, next, I'm insert it into the proper position here. So that for me, it's it's uh, row twelve. So it's row 12 right next to Make sure to twist that plenty. Made a little too long, but it's in there. So, and then this side also goes to the motor. I don't know how I'm not going to get these cords all tangled, but zooming back out here. It's not really well. I recommend actually using the, the female. Sorry, one second. I recommend actually using the, the female um, ends, so uh, like this. And then just snipping it and stripping that because it's it'd be much cleaner in a breadboard. And then you can just simply solder the ends onto the onto the motors. This is just make like a prototype almost to show you how how the DC motors work. Okay, so those are now attached. Next thing we have to do. Zoom up there. This is what we currently have. So now we, now we have it all installed. That's not supposed to be out. That's supposed to be in. Wire fell in here. Should move my motors onto the one side. Um, this is for the. Okay, so that's all good. Um, so now we have we don't just don't have the GPIO. So our last three cords here um, are blue, purple, and uh, orange cords. So for us, pin 15 um, will be blue. Pin 13 will be orange, and pin uh, which one is that? 11 will be purple. And so essentially, it works like this: uh, pin 11 is five away from. So zooming in here, put in focus here. So move this forward a little bit. And plug. We're looking at pin. Here it is. So 
So we're looking at pen five away. So pen will go in one, two, three, four, five, and then this here on the right is pen eleven. So one, two, three. And then th we're also looking for pin 13 and 15, which are both next to each other. Actually, they're all next to each other, so we're going to go um, pin 13 and pi pin 15. So this is how we diff take a different direction than the tutorial that was mentioned in the first video. So the purple one, so currently we have, looking at the motor, the motor stepper, uh, is that looking at the right thing? Probably don't remember. Or you probably can't see this, but we're looking at the the pins that we have. We have one, which is taken by the red uh, red power in. We have the actual. We have a blank one, and then we have the the motor, uh, the red wire for the motor. And so where this red wire goes is where the purple one goes. So pin, it's pin, eleven to my row sixteen, whatever next between the the motor red and the power in. So connect that one up. Next we look keep going and we have two oranges that connect to the the ground um, the ground power rail. We have the GPS black wire and we have the then we have uh, two more open spots. And so that's where the next two get connected. So the middle one, which is the orange, pin, pin 13, goes into row 11, so that's the the item, uh, the the one right next to the uh, black wire for the, the motor, and then to the next to that in 10, on the very outside, which is, I guess, pin 9, on the stepper, on the uh, L2D, L293D, uh, stepper is the, is the blue one. So what we have here is Blue, which goes to pin 15. Orange, which goes to pin 13. The the negative wire for the ground wire for the motor, which comes here, is this one. Can't see that. Just here, this one. Then we have these two orange wires that get feed into the negative rail back here. We have. This purple wire gets is which is pin eleven on the GPIO. Uh, sorry, pin eleven, which is GPIO seventeen, and the last one is the power in. Or so and so, yeah, power in. And so that's kind of the order we have. I might have said that wrong. Um, GPIO fifteen, thirteen, negative for the motor, two orange to the ground rail. Oh, positive to the motor. Might have missed that one. GPI uh, pin 11 and then power in V5 power in uh, V5 5 volts power in sorry so that's currently our setup now it's time to test we have the power we have the motors um, everything's been set up so now we're going to turn on our computer uh, turn on our pies connect and run some code so I'm going to plug in my pie now. I'm pressing F5 here. So, oh, and so what happened there was, as you can see, um, only one motor was going. Um, right here, there's a disconnect. And so this one actually never ran. destroy this wire. I recommend, really recommend soldering this, these things.
we go. It's finally attached. Okay, so we're going to try running the code again. So only one motor is running. The second motor is the only one running there. And so, you know, okay, so only one motor is running. It's not that disconnect. So I'm going to start commenting out code to verify that it's not something with the code. So I'm going to comment out motor one and try that again. Okay, so now the first one's going. But the second one isn't. Sleep, which lets them set up a little bit. Motor one, motor two, and then run it. Ah, uh, they're now they're both going. Okay. I can see they're both moving. So the one issue with this code is they run forever because um, nothing is telling them to stop. So now there, I got them to stop by just rerunning the code. I actually shortened it down to only spin 10 times, and now it works. Thank you for watching my videos. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section. Hopefully I have everything in the description. Please subscribe to the channel. It shows that people are still interested in, uh, is interested in this stuff. Uh, thanks.